think like each time I step back, you know, we kind of pushed into it because we know that it is what is right. We're standing for what is right. Um, I generally don't do the talking because I get too emotional. Um, but Ms. Walker will kind of explain to you a little bit more about what we're going through and uh, what we want and could use from the community. Um, outstanding, everything we've heard. Um, and so hopefully we can find a way to work together to bring about a change in the city of Detroit. I just want to say it has been um, these last couple of weeks or maybe even a month has just been overwhelming once we overcome one hurdle and we think okay we got it we got it going on here comes something else and then here comes something else I, I'm speechless it is overwhelming I'm it's, it's just overwhelming. And after hearing this information just a moment ago, I see this has been going on. It's just not starting now. We're just getting hit to it now. But this plan has been in the works. It's been in the works. And I don't know what all we can do to continue to fight and to continue to, to try and win. We are backing them up. Um, we, we have garnered a meeting with the governor. Uh, we have garnered a meeting with the um, with the city of Detroit, with the mayor. We've garnered a meeting with all kinds of people from across the country who are coming and they're trying to figure out what is going on. How can they help? Because they didn't know about the conditions in the schools. They didn't know about the inadequate pay. They didn't know about all this other mess that's going on. But I know that our district needs to be returned to local control. The citizens need to decide who they want to control. And they have done who they want to control the city, who they want to control the school board. They've done that. And that right has been taken away from them. But we know that that has been the history um, of the governor. You, the citizens say, I don't want something. He changes the law, make it happen anyway. They, he did that with, with the bridge. He did that with the um, financial manager law and made it e the emergency manager. So this is, what his, um, this is what he's done. This is what his MO is. And I don't know how we can stop him. He needs to be arrested. He needs to be put in jail. It, it's, just, it's just too much. And the reason that he's trying to come in now to try and do some negotiating now is because of the, the Flint water crisis is so hot. Right. And now DPS is so hot. And we have purposely linked those two things together to let them know, okay, Early and Snyder doing that, and Early and Snyder here again trying to destroy. And so hopefully, um, hopefully we'll get some satisfaction. We know that they have put roads in place. We got in a meeting with him and the governor on the other day making some demands about things. We don't want you just putting your people in place. If they got to be there, because it looks like the plan is already in place anyway, then you gotta have somebody from the inside there too. Somebody that knows the city, somebody that knows the district, somebody that really and truly has the student's best interest and the community's best interest at heart. So that's what we fought for the other day. The one person that he was planning to bring in, which was Tanya Allen, um, that was the person that they wanted. She works with Skillman. Right. What kind of conflict of interest is, are you crazy? So we pushed back and pushed back and now she's no longer trying to um, fight for that particular job. So I, I just, I don't know, we need your help. We are new, we are educators. We are so passionate about teaching our kids, getting in there, um, helping the parents, helping the community. This political piece, this is crazy. Backstabbing, dirty, and low down, dirty, dirty. And you know, and we're gonna need some help because we don't quite know how to fight. We're nice, we're coming in with our papers. You know, we can get grim too. You know, we don't want to be handled. But this is beyond anything I could have ever imagined. Beyond. And after looking at all of the data that you pulled up, it's happening. We're not dreaming. This is a plan, mm -hmm. and they right. are working this plan. Each EM emergency manager that comes in, he's not coming up with anything new. He's working the plan that's been set forth. It's just different people right. working right. the plan right. that's been set forth. Right. So we thank you guys for your support. Um, teachers need equitable pay. How in the world do you get teachers uh, in the area where we have the most marginalized students, right. the students that need the most help, and you want to pay them the least? That's right. That's Think about your doctor. You have a general doctor. They make nice money. But when you have that specialist, he makes more money. Yeah. Our kids are kids that are many times are a part of generational poverty. You don't teach them like you teach the kids in Southfield. You don't teach them like you teach the kids in Bloomfield and Birmingham. Right. They have other needs. And we have to meet those needs before we can teach a child. They're not ready to learn as soon as they walk into the classroom oftentimes. There are other things that we need to do. So we just want you guys to know that we appreciate you all being here. We appreciate you all giving us a, a platform to speak. And we're going to need your help. You're going to have to help us to see what to do.
call when you need us, okay? Thank you. Let us know. We got your back.